Hello everybody and welcome back to another Fishing North Atlantic. So today we're going to go back out and try to get uh, some more money, more fish, and more everything else. But let's see how our quota is doing here. Oh, we, we still got a uh, royal shit ton that we can catch. <laughs> so uh, today is August 12th, but in real life it is uh, December 21st. So it's damn near Christmas. So it is Monday, December 21st. And, uh, you know, if I if I forget to tell you, and I don't even know when this uh, video is going to go up sometime within uh, this week of the 21st. So anyway, if I forget to tell you, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, so on and so forth. Now, let's get to real business. So, I was asked on uh, a video or two ago um, about turning while you're, you're trawling. How does that work? How do you get it to work? And honestly, uh, when I've tried it, it, it freaks out. So, um, if you guys have any ideas of how to fix it or whatever, let me know in the comments below. Uh, but of course, we're going to try to do some testing when we get out there. Just because of the fact we have everybody on board. Yes, we do. Uh, just in case of the fact that we can figure it out, we're going to be doing it. But if you guys know of anything of why it would be not working or if we're doing it correctly or what have you, uh, let us know in the comments. Please, please, please. And we'll, and we'll go right there. Why not? This, this here is like my little, little honey hole right there. But anyway, yeah, so yeah, we, we've been, or I've been asked uh, about how it works and how to, you know, turn and everything else. And uh, honestly, I just try not to do it. I, uh, I, I just go straight and, and hope that the fish get in the, in the net. And that's probably why it takes me a good hour, hour and a half to record this video. Um, but anyway, with that being said, you know, it, it, it made me curious. So I was like, you know what, we're going to go out and I'm going to dedicate a whole video to see if I can figure it out. And I didn't do the, uh, I, I didn't do the, you know, tutorial. I never do. And um, they could have very well said how to do it, but I don't know. So anyway, we're going to figure it out. We'll try to. And uh, like I said, if you guys have any ideas uh, in the in the comments below, uh, let me know. Oh, and then I didn't even fill this boat up just because. Eh, there's some fish down there. If there's not, then we'll figure it out. Okay, so let's actually get out of this chair, go back. And let's set people. Set draw, set draw, set draw. It doesn't matter who you get at this point. Just because it doesn't matter. So let's simmer down. We are going 10 knots, or 10 miles an hour. <laughs> okay, let's set the draw and simmer way down. Okay, so it looks like we got one to the port, or actually to the starboard, which would be right. Uh, port, four letters, left, starboard, right. Um, I did actually know that, but I didn't think about it. Uh, and then uh, somebody in the comments below let me know. Oh, look at that. Now, I don't know if this game updated or not, but I do not remember the doors being a heat lamp or uh, heated up or what have you. And then we also got one to the port side. Now, the question is, is how much do we turn to get the net or the trawl doors to the fish? And that is the question that I've never figured out. So what we'll do is we'll get everybody back in the bed. You're going to need it. And, oh, and then also, because I remember, we're going to skip some time uh, after every haul so they can get it done so we can, you know, just do it out at sea instead of uh, figuring out how to do it as we go back in. So that is a big school there. I mean, it's not giant, giant, but it's not terribly small. So what we're going to be doing is seeing how the port door is going down this way. We may not have to do anything because we may not get all of it in the door, which would be, you know, more beneficial. 
but we may not have to move. And we have to wait till 164 yards deep, or meters, or whatever, uh, anyway. So we might not even get this school in there, or er, er, in the net anyway, because we might go underneath. And, and uh, you know, don't worry about the distance, because it's going to do that anyhow. I mean, see, look, so, like, we're right in the middle of that school now thing is is that now that we have to wait I okay he this this feller that that brought this up also uh, also said that you know it is kind of a mind mind fuck that the left is on the right side <laughs> but anyway uh, just something you got to get used to so we are catching some of this these fish here which you know is good but if we wanted to move a little bit here. Let's actually get out and then turn to the port, which is left. So we are turning port. But will we catch the fish or will we not? And that is what we want to know. So we're turning just a hair left. We're going to turn about from 60 to the northeast and see what that does. And right now it doesn't it kind of looks like the doors are traveling that way. But then again, you know, you also have to consider, you know, I, I'm trying to be uh, not necessarily translucent or whatever you're trying to say here, but I'm trying to be on uh, both sides here. So the fish are going to move no matter what. But then again, I mean, let's see. Yeah, so the boat is still going. Speed up to the northeast instead of that about 60, 75 here. And it looks like we're going to just miss it too. So we need to set this one. No, 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 no. I need to reel it out. So we can actually catch some fish. Oh, and if, all, if it also helps you, you can move these too. You know, like maybe. Yeah, switch it over. Nope, nope, no, I screwed it up that time. I mean, you, you could if you wanted to. Oh, hold on, let's look back over here. So, I mean, we did turn, but it doesn't look like we did anything to it. But because it's the port, I decided to turn left, or to the port. And it looks like, I mean, we're not there yet, I mean, of course. Uh, so, we could potentially turn even a little bit more we are going um, you know fast enough now we could still be turning why our, our nets are still a little bit being weird so we're going to let that go just a little bit more so our symmetry is good there we go and let's see here so we're still catching the fish but because we turn to the left it, we are, you know, in the school as well. And uh, right now we're catching a shit ton of fish. So, I mean, basically, we didn't necessarily get it perfect. Okay, real then. Before we lose the net. We didn't get it perfect. Oh, we're screwed. Uh, we're screwed. No, 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 we didn't break it yet. We didn't break it, but I mean, if we caught any more, we would break the damn thing. <laughs> so, honestly, right there, we just went through the whole school of fish. So, I mean, that wasn't that terribly difficult. But I think the problem that we're, we're getting here um, is that uh, turning not enough or too much. I mean, I think that's what we could be doing. So what I'm going to do, you know, is uh, the same thing as every every trawling video. What I'm going to do is I'm going to, like, basically time-lapse it. And then uh, I'm going to just move it around. And then after after all that, we're going to see what we can do. Uh, we just got lucky on that one. Uh, we were, like, 100% full on the net. So hopefully it's, like, 250,000 pounds, even though it's going to be about 207. Uh, but we'll we'll definitely see. And uh, But, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to... I'm going to play with it, test with it, see what we can do. And, uh, you know, I will come back with uh, the test results here in a few minutes.
Let's get that centered again. But I, I do want to be with you guys when all this stuff comes back in. And then we got a few schools here. But this is going to be perfect too because there's no schools where the nets are going to be or the trawl doors. So we're going to have to turn one way or another to get there. But I mean the easiest way to do it is definitely to get out of the boat so that you're looking directly forward. And see look, like right now we went back to the starboard because we were due northeast because of these little domes here. So that is something that we also have to uh, have to think about. I mean, maybe we just got lucky. I don't know. But anyway, we'll, we'll have to see here. Uh, and we're going to haul the net right. It should be now. There we go. Let's see how much we got. I mean, honestly, we should be getting about 200000 which is uh, absolutely phenomenal. But, it, uh, I mean, hopefully that answers some questions just right now. But, I mean... Uh, I try not to turn. I'm just, I'm just bringing it out there. I'm trying not to turn, and I don't know if it's because we turned into the fish, or if the fish moved to us, or if we just happen to line up perfect. So that's why I said, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna go out, see what we can do, see if we can uh, test it, you know, manipulate it to where we can actually do something, and uh, you know, like I said, we'll just uh, come back and. Bring it back to the courtroom and, and see what we can do. So after uh, after this, right quick, which should be uh, should be relatively easy. I mean, this, this is going to be a giant net. I just got a feeling. Hopefully, two hundred thousand pounds. Let's see. Let's see. Right here, one hundred eighty-eight. Gee, Willikers, that's that's completely full, and we can't even get it dead. Bleh. Oh, gee whiz. Okay. Anyway. I don't know what I'm doing with my fingers. My fingers are still stupid a little bit. But anyway, uh, we're just going to, you know, time time lapse it up real quick. And then we're going to study and uh, see what we can do. And I'll be back after we have a full boat. like here I saw this one on the starboard side there and then we were going let's see what we were going we're going northeast and then we'd come back to east and then uh, you know it takes a while for the, the port line to get back where it was but then all of a sudden we just turned enough to get on this big school so I mean that I mean this was only the first time so, I mean, uh, oh, I'm not going to say that it's the easiest thing to do in the world, because it's not. But the thing is, is that we also have to decide on how much to turn, and I think that's the biggest problem. Because with the trawl doors being so skinny in that turn, we can't necessarily figure out how, uh, how far to turn and where them trawl doors are actually going to end up. And uh, I think that right there is probably the hardest thing to figure out. But like right now, I think we went a little bit too much to the starboard. And we need to, you know, counter it back to the port. But because, uh, you know, we're almost full anyway, I'm not really concerned with it. But what I wanted to do is I wanted to uh, reel them up just a touch. So when we start catching them fish, um, you know, we're not going to. I'm not going to screw it up here. Now, I wasn't even paying attention to the uh, to the speed there. But, I mean, we're because we're turning uh, too much to the starboard, we're going to miss this ball. I mean, we may catch, like I said, a few things of it, but we're going to miss most of it. I mean, we could, like, last minute try to turn and catch it, but honestly, I don't think there's a, there's a reason for it. So, uh... I mean, the distance is 190 yards, depth of 210, which is uh, kind of strange as well, even though because we're at a 
173 and that's at 208 so we're gonna basically miss it anyway so I think this thing almost lies to you a little bit I'm not sure but because we're at 60% we're gonna just reel them up and uh, try again but uh, you know I just wanted to let you know that you can turn and you can you know get the fish on there and everything else it's just uh, you gotta you know, little, little, um, little fixes at first, you know, uh, so, I don't know, hopefully it, it helps you out, I, I don't really know, uh, you know, like I said, uh, if I do figure out anything else, I will definitely let you know, but right now, I mean, it, it's just gonna be uh, a learning curve, you know, you're gonna have to learn how much to turn, and when to turn, and so on and so forth, but what's cool is, is also, you can also see the boat when there's no fish around. You know, you can see the boat turning right or left, starboard port, whatever. And, uh, you know, so I think that might help you a little bit. I mean, because you can actually turn while in this screen. You can turn, um, but, I mean, it's just better, like, if you, if you use this compass here, you know, we are going due east, or, well, damn near close to due east. And then we were going northeast, so we, we turned way too much anyway. But I mean, it's not too shabby. But anyway, uh, we might try to catch this little ball here, uh, or school. And then, uh, anyway, after the boat is filled, uh, you know, like I said, I'll, I'll still try to figure out what we're doing here. But uh, as soon as the boat's filled, then uh, I'll get back to you. So uh, I'll see you in a little bit. So we're back, and um, 
So I, I did a little bit of, you know, turning and, and whatnot, and honestly, <coughs> um, it, it, it isn't the easiest thing to do. <laughs> I mean, like, uh, if you turn too much, then you miss it, but if you turn too little, then you miss it. So it's kind of like, uh, like I said a little bit earlier, you know, it, it's kind of a um, guess and hope situation in that, you know, general sense of... Yeah. Whatever you feel you have to uh, kind of do. And, and honestly, you know, now that uh, I've actually tried it and everything else, I do feel as if it is uh, a little bit easier. Um, but I feel like I can I can do it if, if you know, if you, uh, or if I did it over and over and over and over and over again. So, um, I mean, we had a lot of good, a uh, lot of good hauls there. I mean, uh, it, it was very quick honestly this this last uh this last all here 151,000 set it down picked it right up and uh especially when 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 the line is going out or the trawl doors are, are going down you know if you if you turn right or left if you set so if you're turning port so left if you set the starboard side out oh well, that's a good little hall there um then it actually will uh, will help out uh, making them not as um, uh, what am I trying to say here? Not as as, as funky. Um, so you know that's a uh, that's a good thing to know. I mean, uh, I, I did learn that just that last that last line. So if you turn on left, set the uh, starboard side out as you're turning. So then it's not necessarily just cutting over, but if you turn it right, set the part port side and so it just like follows uh you know honestly that's a uh a good thing uh to learn uh and and so on and so forth but anyway let's uh get back to business here uh that's not real great it is uh just below 40 percent uh and of course we're going to get the highest one lundenberg is just over 40 percent that one is not good at all because we've been going there for a while digby is also over 40 percent you know what, let's go to Digby, just because of the fact of, um, oh, 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 helps if you remember how to play. Let's go to Digby right quick, just because, like I said, uh, you know, we're try I'm trying to get the, the reputation up everywhere, and, uh, but anyway, we need 20 million dollars, uh, to get the, um, London, L no, what? Lunar Bow. That, that's, uh, that's what we need to get. And um, so because of that, um, what we're actually going to do is get that probably here real short. And if I'm not going to lie, uh, let's just do six hours. Everybody's tired, of course. But honestly, uh, you know, I, I got a comment saying uh, to get the Lunar Bow. And uh, that's what we're going to do. It's, a, it's another um, uh, trawling vessel. Uh, it's for mackerel and pollock, but I feel like, you know, that's what we need to do. Uh, so, just to make this, uh, this playthrough a little bit longer and whatnot, that's what we'll get. I mean, and plus, you know, why, why cut the game short? So, that's what we're going to be doing as soon as, um, as soon as we figure out what the hell we're doing here. Let's put her at, no, wait, let's put her stack and her gutty. That's what I wanted to do. So we do have a lot of uh, a lot of stuff, a lot of fish to get, a lot of a lot of everything. But well, hopefully, uh, you know, you guys have been uh, enjoying uh, the new series, the new series on the uh, on the uh, channel. Not across land, not across the land. Uh, you know, it, it's a little bit fun, you know, to uh, go out and and see what all you can you guys want to watch and so on and so forth. Let's move. Okay, so gutting is definitely done, and so let's put everything back here. And that is actually helping out a lot. So if you skip about five hours or whatever before you uh, set your trawl again, or your trawling net, whatever the hell you want to call it, it actually seems like it helps out. And I mean, you're gonna burn the time now, or burn the time later, sitting in the harbor waiting for them to get it done. So I mean, it's it's either one. So they're still tired, so therefore something is done, whatever it is. Uh, let's see here. So they still got 68,000 pounds. Okay, well that's 
that's just what we're going to have to do for a while. So we have, uh, what, 12, 12 miles left to go. So we'll just drive until someone else gets tired, and then we'll go on from there. And then hopefully they'll get it done. So if nothing else pops up, okay, so Sadie, Sadie's now tired. So, of course, you know, when I'm trying to talk, it pops up. Uh, here, let's see. So we got 6,000. You know, so now we're going to have a crap ton of uh, stacking to do. But honestly, stacking's pretty fast. So it won't take too, too terribly long. Something is... What is blocking me? Move, buoy! Honestly, it's like probably really shallow there. And you probably want to go around. I, I haven't necessarily drove in and out of this harbor. So, you know, the, the way that the boobies are here in this little like, uh, island, uh, we def. Oh, we're, we're hitting the ground now, it, it looks like. Because we're not moving no more. Yep, we're hitting the ground. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, boy. Oh boy! Hey, can uh, can can we fast travel back? Nope, we're stuck. Okay, what about cheating? C can we cheat? Oh my God, we can cheat. Now I wouldn't recommend that because uh, you know what's the fun in that? But you know, hey, we we had to get out. We had to get out. Let's just put them in so these guys can rest. Boy, I mean, even though you pay an arm and a leg and and everything else for these guys, they definitely. Uh, no, I want to skip time. They they definitely work their butt off. So let's skip time. It should be done in about three hours. And then uh, what we'll do is we'll just back out of here and see if they're actually done. And they are actually done. 866,000 pounds. So we're, you know, 22,000 pounds under. So, I mean, it's probably one of the... Other than being full... Uh, it's probably one of the biggest ones. $2.2 million, just like that. Just like that, $2.2 million. Uh, the prices are not very good. Uh, you know, as you can see, the, the lot of line, dash lines there. But $19 million. So, honestly, one more trip out. Now, we can buy the Lunar Bow. Which, uh, that's the plan. That's the goal. Uh, so, anyway, I just want to say, uh, you know, th this was a testing video. I know that I didn't necessarily test much. Um, and it was more of a uh, learning curve for me. But hopefully uh, y'all learned a little bit about it because of uh, what, you know, I told you and everything else. But, I mean, so hopefully it helped you out in the slightest. You know, if, and if uh, if it did help you out, like or comment down below and tell me how, uh, how I did, if it did, uh, how it helped you, so on and so forth. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, commenting, and subscribing. I will see you in the next one. Take care.